So hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Sumo Rock Luna. And on today's review, we will be reviewing this one 12 scale action figure from the Veronin Kenshin movie, which is the actor uh, who portrays Kenshin Himura, which is um, Takeru Sato. All right. So this is um, from Aton Customs for the 112 scale Ronin Kenshin action figure. All right. So this is the actual box, guys, of the action figure, as you can see here. On the front, a very nice animated um, look for the box art. You can see here from below as well the 112 1 is to 12 action figure scale the Aton um, custom logo all right now I already removed the action figure from this box okay and you can see as well at the side for the design with their logo Aton Customs uh, Customs sorry there and at the back there as you can see here this is a homemade toy alright very awesome guys shout out to you Aton Customs okay and as well Korea Toy Store thank you so much for this awesome item shout out to you koreans online shop for this pre-order of this one-of-a-kind homemade roronin kenshin live action uh, 112 scale figure all right so here we go guys let me just put it aside so i do apologize for the light but let me just focus it a little bit okay let's remove it from the clamshell so what um on this one hold on guys all right let's see if we can there guys so on inside the clamshell it has the actual 112 scale action figure if you can see here just put it on a pretty nice light but there so as you can see and what I have as well here is the um, bloody version because there are two kinds of this action figure one is normal version and the other one is the blood version so what i have here is the battle damage version or the blood version for the ronin kenshin action figure okay there you go guys there's a little lightning light up for this one and it comes with the blood stained head carving there you go guys and the body bloodstained clothes then the pair of shoes okay technically and then the bloodstained hands if you can see here guys there the alternate arms and hands and then uh, one marshmallow head with the metal katana so the metal katana i notice and as well the hair the ponytail hair there at the back is the katana so let's remove this one outside the palm shell okay hold on a second so now guys just put this aside so here it is guys the blood or battle damage version of the Aton Customs homemade toy Ronin Kenshin.
So if you can see here, guys, pretty awesome head sculpt, I could say. So it is for me. It is somehow um, same scale figure with the Dasin. If you'll have a Kenshin Himura um, Samurai X. So I do apologize again for my camera. But for me, this is a wonderful head sculpt, guys. If you already watched the movie. This is an awesome head sculpt from the blood version. So let me just try to put the so there is at least three hey um alternate or hairstyle for Kenshin. Alright, so let me just put this one here before we review it. So it has three set of hairstyle. Okay, and the one is a real like hair that you can um, use. Here you go, guys. See? It's like a real like hair. Then the other two is oops is a regular plastic um oops plastic type of hair so one is like somehow oh yeah wavy and the other one is somehow short sorry about that guys so so guys for this one the clothes is fabric as I can see here good joints so if you will see this one you just hold it like there there are torn clothes or um, torn parts of the fabric so it is really the battle damage and if you can see it is so dark with the blood with the blood stain okay so even here pretty awesome very good detail all right at the back so this is a articulated action figure as well and for a 112 scale so usually it is 6 to 6.5 if I'm not mistaken yep it's around 6.5 inches if we're gonna convert it into inches guys all right then next just have him stand right here and next it has its metal sword I forgot the term of the name of his sword but look at this it's pretty metal hold on there you can hear it properly very sharp steel okay with his um, sword sheet I forgot the actual term of the sword sheet all right then next is let me just show you it has four alternate arms just like I mentioned earlier and two hmm, it's quite
Oh, the other hair is uh, like a soft gel. Oh, upon touching it, guys, pretty awesome for this item. So here are here are the alternate arms dimension. Wait, sorry, guys. There, the blood art alternate arms. All right, or the battle damage there. And pretty nice details if I can say so. So far, guys, with the blood stain. I hope if I have a pretty awesome camera, you can see the details. It will be very awesome, guys. If you will have this kind of collection, it's a pretty neat collection to have, to be honest. For the details, it is for me 10 out of 10 for this battle damage or blood version. Alright. From the mouth, from the neck, pretty nice and awesome. Um blood design see even for the fra uh, fabric and for the arms as you can see here if we will have the sleeve up see articulation I could say that this is a awesome 10 out of 10 right pretty nice very movable very tight Even for the legs, Kenshin can do splits, as I can see here. Pretty nice. And so far, even it is crisp or um, how do I call it, brand new, you can feel the joints that it's so great, very flexible. The, even the, uh, it's not a ball joint like like the regular um, McFarlane. If you can if you can see here, see, it's pretty nice. And the feet, oops. It is somehow designed like uh, the Dasin, but much more heavier comparing to a Dasin action figure. and the texture it's not just a plastic i can say for the body sculpt and even for the and it's more on for me guys uh, um it's more on like a wood wood like but still uh, it is like a plastic type but um, a good quality because it's heavy and oops yeah it's plastic yep it's like a semi-plastic wood combination for me but don't get me wrong i can you know might be incorrect as well but still awesome so now there I'm just looking for the shit where ah there we go. But this one should be like this. And the actual And the actual fabric, pretty, pretty nice, I could say. The reverse edge sword of Kenshin Himura. Oops. So shout out again to you, 
Aton Customs for this wonderful action figure. It is a perfect and awesome action figure, guys. So overall for me, this is a 10 out of 10. As you can see, even the hair is very soft. 10 out of 10 action figure from the details and articulation itself. It is great, awesome, and handcraft perfectly for me, guys. All right. So there you have it. Our initial review for the Atom Customs 112 scale. Ronin Kenshin live action movie action figure guys All right so I'll include some photos so that you can enjoy after the video you can enjoy viewing the very awesome detail of this action figure and again shout out to Koreans online shop thank you for this um, pre-order item for the Ronin Kenshin so again, this is Sumo Rock Luna. Hope you enjoy the review. Uh, please do like, subscribe, and follow my page, Sumo Rock Luna, at Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. All right. So thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Bye. Happy collecting.